it's uh, season 19. We don't start this until tomorrow. Uh, you, you will never know what deck I'm playing until tomorrow comes. So, uh, spoilers. Um, today, we're going to do build a deck because I've missed one of these out because I didn't realize how short of a time span you get with these dual trials. Uh, it's like three days. So, we have to do it now. Also, we can get one climax of the showdown pack. Probably will get absolutely nothing in it like every other pack I've got from these things. But who knows? So, this event is... Create decks that utilize loaner cards and go for the win. Details can be found in the events details section on the right side of the screen. Well, let's inform ourselves. Aim for a specified number of victories while playing with the event specific rules. During a new event, you can duel as many times as you like. In this event, cards whose effects change depending on the result of a coin, toss, or dice result are regist uh, registered as the loaner card. Will everything come down to luck, or will you employ a strategy that brings about favorable results? Experience gripping battles you cannot take your eyes off. Gamble decks. But what's different about this is they actually give you a partly created deck that you are unable to mess with. You see these cards that are like bright yellow? No more loaner cards can be removed. So they're, they're stuck in the deck. Um, which is kind of interesting. So all these cards here is what everybody that I'm going to be playing against has. Everybody's got Cup of Ace. Everybody's got a Dice Spoon. Everyone's got the Dungeon Dice Monsters Field Spell, which is kind of cool. Uh, and everyone's got an extra that looks like this. So there's a little bit of space left. You can put in whatever you want. So what did I go for? Uh, I went for Triple Magic Cylinder because I have this Magic Cylinder in Royal Finish. Very nice. Uh, I also have one Magic Cylinders, which uh, makes your Magic Cylinder do double damage. Um, the opponent can get this thing out called Orgoth the Relentless, and this thing can have like 3,300 attacks. So if Thingy goes off, it'll do 6,600 damage, which I think is quite cool. Um, I'm also playing that six, which I didn't really like, so I might swap it out. Oh, and I'm playing three, uh, Malefic Cyber End Dragon, because why not for the banter? We've got a field spell. This is a Duel Links deck. Um, I'll tell you what, chat, you can pick my last card. I've... Should I just take that six out? Each time I play a rolls a die, you can choose one of the results. Go on. Chat, you can pick my last card. What would you like me to play? Gauze! Uh, I don't think I have it. Oh my god. What a, wa what a waste of 30 SR. There's like, there's like field spells and everything. All right. This will be the last time I play Gorge. You made me play Gorge before, and it was hot garbage. So this is the last time, right? There you go. Made. Put it in the deck. Save. If Gorge doesn't win me a duel throughout today, then you're not allowed to pester me anymore. This is this is a bet. If it does win me a duel, um, you can have I'll you can have you can bother me one more time for it. Dice try, funny card. I would love to have played that card. I really would have. That would have been great. I'd have had so much fun with that. Okay. Uh, I don't really understand uh, Orgoth's effect, so I need to familiarize myself with it. Okay, Thunderbolt. I know this monster. Uh, 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 Darts, Bandit Keith. What's his name? Oh, uh, oh God. The, it begins with a D. Duke! <laughs> Duke Devlin. Duke Devlin played this card. I completely forgot his name then. I'm hungover. Leave me alone. Oh, I put um, Heavenly Spears in because we got a lot of back row. There's Orgoth. At the end of the damage step, if a monster battled, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can send one trap from your hand or that's set on your field. Destroy all of the monsters. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Should I try and destroy his back row? Snipe Hunter's effect. Dump Fairy Box. I like Fairy Box, but... Anything but 106. No! Do we gamble more? We do not gamble more. No more gambling. No! Why has he got, like, a couple... Blackwing cards in here? What is this? You've triggered my... Heavenly Prison's ability. Now I kill your monster. Oh god, what's this? Was there a secret ability? I don't know. Should I have read this? If you're controlling... No, it's not that. 
You don't have a quick effect? Oh, I think he might be able to double its attack or something. Thunderball! Thunderball! <laughs> Kalut. Kalut in hand. I think so. Haha, -ha, he's only got 450 attack, but I don't know why. Oh, wait, so do we? Wait. Wait, that's his actual attack? I thought he got reduced. Why does he have 450 attack? Uh, you send one trap from your hand or that's set on the field to the graveyard. Destroy all of the monsters in this card's column. This card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect. Since the graveyard can take one level, kind of your graveyard, roll six side die, and then roll six. Monster? Screw it. I like that it has its effect from the um, the anime. It can destroy all the monsters in the column. I'll take my fairy box back, please. He gets his... Uh, the one that halves my attack, I guess. Best card ever. Uh, Job... Oh, oh my goodness. Joboda, thank you very much for the sub with the Twitch Prime. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for being a legend. We just rolled dices for what reason? Probably should have read that. We'll read it properly now. So we both whiff, whiffed. You can target one card in your graveyard, roll a six-sided die, and if the result is six, add that target to your hand. Oh. Oh. We gambled again. And we failed twice. Four. You can special summon one monster from your graveyard. That's fine with me. I don't care which one you get back. Dimension the dice. That is right, isn't it? Oh no. Haha, you're too weak. Now, to be fair, this is a quick event. It doesn't take too long. Now, this guy's going all in with the um, the gamble. Haha, you've triggered my trap. Magic cylinder. It redirects your attack right back at you. <laughs> But his monster's attack is greater than mine. <laughs> How can I beat him? Oh, it's a level 7? That sucks ass. I'll switch my heavenly spheres in defense and end my turn. Chat, it's happening. It's actually happening. It might see use. No. I can't. Gorse can't save the day. This can't be the thing. Gorse is here. No, it won't do anything. It's by move. I draw. No. Uh, let me read this properly. God, that's so trash. It's so awful. You can't have anything on the field. So people on average don't like this deck, uh, this deck, this uh, this game mode. All right, since I control no monsters and you dealt direct damage to me, I can special summon my Gauze, Emissary of the Darkness. But that's not all. A token is created in the likeness of your monster. Come, Gauze token. Tribute both for Orgoth now. Ah, uh, go on then. I play summon dice. I roll a die. The result will determine my fate. We want a special summon for some three or four would be great. Six. You can special one level five or higher monster from your hand. Oh no, that's great. Come to the field. My very soul. Orgoth, the relentless. That's not all. Orgoth has a very special ability. I now roll four. Three dies, and I get abilities and attack points on the results. One is bad. One is also bad. Three is terrible. <laughs> it's not that bad. Wait, I forget to draw two cards. Oh, 
Okay, so I got two ones, so my card can't be destroyed by battle, right? But because I, if I only got one th three, I can't draw two cards. I need to have that weapon one more time. Okay, the more you know. Kill this thing, it'll do half damage because he got good flip. All right. Gauze, Emissary of Darkness, attack Immortal directly. Oh, lucky boy. He's gambling. Tails, I don't know who that's for. Tails, we both take 2,000 damage. No! I can't believe Gauze won the duel. Ugh. How has this happened? Well, damn. Seems Gauze was your ace all along. I have a ghost rare Gauze Emissary of Darkness. Uh, it's my only ghost rare that I own. Maybe I should whip that out. How do you feel about winning with Gauze? I, I feel dirty. I feel weird. It's going to come straight into my hand now. First turn, watch. <laughs> I know it's got the field spell. Double three. Right. Well, I mean, it's not going to win. It's two duels, so let's not worry about that. Where's he gone? Max, he's legal for this event. It's my move. First, I'll play Dice Dungeon, a.k.a. Dungeon Dice Monsters. This lets me add a Dimension Dice from my deck straight to my hand. I'll normal summon this thing. Then I'll activate Dimension the Dice. Which lets me tribute my Thunderball. Two special summon a monster. I'll special summon my Orgoth the Relentless from my deck. Next, I'll play Orgoth's Effect. This lets me roll three dies. The die results equal my attack increase. Uh oh. Oh no! Um, I don't get my protection because. Oh. Never mind. Okay, I see the appeal of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. I don't own any, though. I hope Dungeon Dice Monsters can be made into a proper game one of these days. Maybe one day. Hopefully. Thorn Reese, thank you very much for the resub of the Twitch Prime. Thank you for the two months. Sorry, I missed it four minutes ago. Thank you for supporting this channel. That's Thorn Reese. Thank you, thank you. Tom Reese. That's Tom Reese. That's my eyesight. I'm so sorry. Uh, if we settle the debate about sweet and sour chicken outside using our fists, who do you think would have the, the black eye? I don't know. How much spinach do you eat? No worries, mate. Thank you for supporting the channel. Oh. Okay, this is what we planned for. We plan for the Orgoth attack and the Magic Cylinder play. Yes. Come on, get triple six. Six, twelve, eighteen, extra, eighteen hundred extra attack. That'd be so good. Six. No. Six again. No. Six again. These rolls are terrible. Uh, I guess we gamble. If we doubled their attack to 6,000, that'd be kind of cool. Or is this only applied to mine? Wait, can they stack? Three. He weakened his own monster. I'll use mine, sure. Come on, roll six. No! No! I've made it weaker! How has this happened? Um, I'll take the damage. We should have cylindered. Okay. I draw. Nice. Um, I'll keep it in hand. End phase.
We both need to roll a six. 6,000 damage. No, it wouldn't be 6,000. It'd be three, six. It'd be like 12. It'd be like a million damage. I can't even do the maths on that. Four, two, one. Okay. Come on, big rolls. <gasps> Leave my back roll alone. He's going to roll six, isn't he? No, he's going to roll anything but a one or a six. Yep. One or six, one or six, one or six. Come on, I need this. Yes. That's what gambling gets you. I'll teach you a damn lesson. You invest. <laughs> Now, this only works on who? Both of the monsters? One? Oh, my God. Stop rolling bad. I'll I'll do it for you. Don't worry. I'll get you a six. Double your attack. Even though this one will hurt more. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, why didn't you get it? He would have had like 8,800 attack or something insane like that. Yes. Caught in my web. Not enough to win. Very sad. Honestly, it might be worth me uh, holding on to that. I just played a bunch. Of, I just played tournaments with a bunch of silly cards. <laughs> I need a monster really badly. Come on. That's also fine. Right, we need to be careful of the Snipe Hunter. So I'm going to activate a brand new dice dungeon. This will get me another dimension dice that I can't use. Yeah. Very cool. And then we're going to set three bait cards face down. Psychologically, I think. I don't know. End phase. Whoa! Whoa! Crimson Monkey! Crimson Moki, I'm so sorry. It's my eyesight. It's really failing me. Uh, thank you for the free gifted subs. Uh, D Boy, Estand, Time Man, welcome to the stream team. I hope you enjoy your free gifted sub off of Crimson Moki. Whoa. Make sure to give him a big thank you. It's very nice of him to do. You don't have to watch adverts, it's pretty sick. Thank you, Moki. Whoa. Right up armor seat. He threw away his token. So that uh he's equipped spell, so that's kinda good. Okay, we're literally gambling on this play. We need one of us to get a six of some kind. Oh no, we we both need to get a six. We need to stay in the game. This need this needs to roll big. This needs to get a six, or this needs to get a six. Five would be very bad. Org off the relentless, yeah. Gamble deck. Pray for some Joey luck. Oh, I'm play praying. Also, uh, Snipe Hunter needs to not get us. No, that's really bad. And negated. No. Uh, also, you could just attack with these. To be fair, if he attacks with this, I guess I could... No, we've, we've lost. We've super lost. Uh, too many big monsters in my hand. Two. One. He's rolling terrible as well. Five. I tried Legal Knight in this event and he's still useless. This is game. Screw it. Who knows? Maybe we can halve all their attacks. Keep ourselves on this. Maybe he'll roll five. This is where he'll roll six and he won't attack with that first. 
He rolled a five. I would survive. Maybe I should do nothing. One, two, three. I would survive. But what if I roll... What if I also roll a five? I'll take even less damage. Gamble! I need a five or the other one. <laughs> if I get a six, I've thrown the game. If I increase their attack, I've probably also thrown the game. What's three? Woohoo! <laughs> what did I do? I, he, they all lost 500 attack. I'm still in this, baby! That's the spirit, Sam. I'm in the gamble mood. Why not? Because on your side... Well, I mean, I am very much losing this door. <laughs> I should put Sand Gambler in this or something. This is like spamming OHKO oh, oh, moves on Pokemon. Oh, one hit KO moves. Why don't we start some gambling in chat? <laughs> oh no. Interesting. The ultimate gamble card of all time. What's the most damage you can do? Oh well. Oh no, wait. Um. It's too risky. I know I know we're gambling, but I think a dice jar here. Oh shh. Ah! Okay, I see what I've done, but it might work out. I've just realized, yes. I was so fixated on wandering Griffin Rider negating the magic cylinder, I forgot that they could negate the <laughs> It's part of my gamble, don't worry. By taking this off the field, um I can Push back the Orgoth's attack. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. I'm so dead. No. Oh, he wouldn't negate that either. Actually, no. It would have been in the damage step, right? No, you can negate stuff in the damage step. Ignore me. It was lose-lose. This is the only chance of me surviving. I believe in myself. I believe in me that believes in myself. I think. Maybe. Or goth. Jerry three sixes. Come on, get yourself up to 3600 attack. Why not? Ah. 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 200 off. Okay, we need to boost them. Unfortunately, these two can finish me off. So best case scenario is he attacks with this. Oh no, he can add it. Ah. This game. We gambled and it didn't pay off, unfortunately. We've, we failed. My own fault. So we need to harvest attack again, unfortunately. The Brave Engine is secretly a good engine. Yes, it's actually very good uh, in this event as well. Fair play. Uh, let's hope we both roll fives then, shall we? Or he negates my dice summon and then attacks with this. You didn't gamble, you misplayed. <laughs> and gambled hard. No! If only my magic cylinder would, uh. My magic cylinder would resolve. I think it's bestials. Ha ha, you fool. You've triggered my magic cylinder. Ha 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 ha. Oh, negated. Well done. And you had gores. But I couldn't summon Gauze because I got field spell. But I get what you mean. 
can't win them all. That's that, that that's gambling for you. If only had two face downs. Oh yeah, another magic cinder would have been great. Alright. Two duels, one win, one loss. We're 50 50. Back to Shiny Hunted, rated M. Did we work? Does Sam gamble properly? No. I gamble responsibly. I have a little £10 limit on my uh, my betting app. Magical Cylinder. Is that... Um, I think I have that in the deck. Boop, 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 boop. <clears throat> What's the new deck? Uh, new deck is revealed tomorrow, but it's a Toon deck. Fun fact. We're going to be stealing all the opponent's monsters, trying to get to Master 1. First. I guess we're more of a second turn deck. I don't know. Not tuna. It's a tuna. <laughs> I mean, um, YOLO. 6,000 damage and that. Honestly, Dimension Dicening my Org off for the deck probably was the better play there. But uh, who knows? Maybe we win. Cup of Ace. Okay. They get to draw two cards. Well done. How lucky. Cup of Ace always heads. Snipe Hunter. How many times will he gamble, do you reckon? And how many times do you think he'll get successful? See, the problem is, if he picks my back row, which I can chain, if I chain it and he whiffs, then I could have maybe ate another one. Screw it, I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Who knows? Heads for me, I gain 2,000 life points. Heads for him, he also gains 2,000 life points. Not great. Oh, and he whiffed as well! Oh, what a waste! I should just let him keep gambling. I should have gambled on him gambling. I didn't gamble. We need to be more gamble. That's the whole point of this event. Yes! Sunk cost fallacy. Oh, he's not, oh, he's not sunk cost fallacy. Okay. Is that Gorgoth? It is Orgoth. Orgoth the Relentless. Aha! You've triggered my dice jar. Now we both roll a die. You got a five, you take 2,500 damage. I rolled a... No! Oh, he took 6,000 damage! If my other thing would have made him take 2,000, we would have won. That's such a shame. Oh, no. Um... I needed a monster on the field. I think Temperance has a, an effect in the hand. End phase. I can, I can negate an attack. Your Arcane of Force is a Kribo. Yes. Gamble, gamble. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ha! 
Oh, he also has a dice jar, eh? Very cool. I get all off them. Whoa, like Ar Arcana Force deck? Arcana Force XIV Temperance. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Dice Jar looks so funny. It's a, it's a wacky looking monster. I do agree. Where's Gauze when you need him? No damage. Fourteen in Roman numerals. Nice. Uh, out of interest, I assume that if I set dice dungeon, it doesn't count as a spell or trap being activated, right? So if I did that, and then I did this, this wouldn't trigger Lord of Heavenly Prison. Oh god, it does! Oh, okay. Sometimes I, I don't know, field spells don't count sometimes. Okay. If you control a card with an effect that you contribute one monster. Mm, I guess it'd be better having Orgoth on the field. Yeah, go on then. Sorry, I have any prison. I could gamble with the, um... We'll gamble with the attack. Why not? Okay. August effects. Show me some good rolls. Valor. fine with me. One less snipe. I, I can't protect myself from snipe until now, though. I get in one or two twice. Yeah. You know what? Why not? Let's get another one. <laughs> A shiny new Orgoth. Three. One. One or a three. Oh, it's not great. Battle. Okay. Dice Dungeons effect. I roll. Five. That's bad, I think. They got a one. Okay, bad results. Bad results. End phase. Uh, we're in a pickle, aren't we? Why do I have 3,450 defense? That hasn't gone down. Oh, until the end of your... Oh, I see. The damage up and down is reset on the attack. Oh. <sighs> it's not protected. The odd results are always the bad ones. Okay. Do I risk trying to harvest attack? If I make his attack 6,500, that's going to really suck. <laughs> no! <laughs> that's why we gamble. How the turns have tabled. My old friend! You see, I am MO with no monster. Right, that's not how that works. Uh, with a field spell on either side of our field, I can special summon my very soul, Malefic Cyber End Dragon. Come on out. That's right, it's a corrupted, twisted version. 
Show me a six. I beg of thee. That's bad. It's a three. Ah! Wait, it's enough. Woohoo. Oh, God. What's he got? What's in his hand? What's this? Oh, it's a different one. Or... Yes! Make my monster grow! Malefic Cyber End Dragon! Woohoo! Gambling! I gambled on my top deck. Screw Heart of the Cards. Gambling. I knew Malefic Cyber End Dragon was the monster. There was three spaces in the extra deck. I was like, I know exactly what I'm going to put in here. He needs a Snipe Hunter. You think he's going to resolve a Snipe Hunter? Psh. No way. Luck is on my side. <laughs> that's, that's not fair. That's not gambling. Oh. Does he have a 1500 attack monster in his hand? Oh, my God. You fool. I play three Malefic Cyber End Dragons in my deck. And here is my next one. All right. We have to gamble. On the fact that my opponent won't top deck a 1500 attack point monster, aka a Snipe Hunter. You can draw anything else. Top deck Thunderball. Thunderball would help, I think. Yeah, it would. Now things are getting dicey. I like it. I love the puns. A new dimension dice. This could go very bad. Does he have a monster with dice in its effect that he can summon to the field? Yes. We're okay. Come on. Don't be gauze. Be anything else. It's all right. End phase. I was thinking about setting two just in case he does get a snipe hunter and tries to like pop my back row and stuff, but I don't know. Their face down is a magic cylinder as well. We need Thunderball then. Thunderball for the game. Spell first as a decoy. Possibly. Ooh. I could have probably I could have put part of his eyes in the deck, actually. I didn't think about that. I don't think we go into our extra deck even in the slightest. <laughs> okay. Sacrificing the damn wizard for another Orgoth, I assume. If he's bold, he'll go for Snipe Hunter. It's enough to win, and he can try and get rid of my back row. That's very greedy, sir. Very, very greedy. With Snipe Hunter, you could have absolutely clapped here. Should we boost him? Even if I halve him, it's still fine. The, the worst case is if we both halve each other. Two, make him stronger. It makes him look like I'm desperate. I'd even gamble. It's time to pay the costs of... Gambling. Right back at you. What you have? Solemn, solemn set? No, we're fine. Yes! Thank you, Malefic Cyber and Dragon. Thank you, Magic Cylinder. He should have picked Snipe Hunter. Fun fact. That was dirty. I love it. Talkative Carl, thank you very much for the 10 bits. Are there duelists, kingdom duels you want to cover? Paradox Purpose duels will be cool. Yes, uh, I do plan on doing the duelist kingdom duels eventually. It's going to be a bit weird because there's like, the rulings are weird for it. But I, yeah, I think I'll do it. I think I want to do like the Pegasus one mainly, but Paradox will be, actually, that'll be kind of weird. Paradox Brothers aren't really a duel. It's the labyrinth thing. So I mean, I guess I could do it. The duel begins and Joe, I think you go first. We need a field spell on the field. That'll do me.
fun, Sam. If Gore's got a Master Duel only retrain, would you use it? Yeah, sure. Why not? They also duel in GX. You could do that one. That's true. They summon that... Um, there's like a Gate Guardian monster that they haven't released. It looks nothing like Gate Guardian, so it's kind of... Kind of weird looking. I kind of hope he picks Magic Cylinder, and then I can let Fate decide. Okay, Fate decides whether it gets blown up. Damn. My source of power! No! No! Okay, I'm going to gamble that he will whiff. Oh, okay. Sunk cost fallacy here. I'm going to gamble again. That he'll whiff again. Woohoo! <laughs> Sunk cost fallacy. He, he can't stop. Yo, he just threw away a plasma. I'm going to gamble again. Say you're going to whiff again. Oh, no. Still, cost him a lot of resources. This man's molding. To be fair, he got my cylinder and this. Like, this I didn't really care about resolving. 2k life points would have been nice. Thunderball. Oh no, 450 damage. Is everyone using the same deck? Everybody is using different decks, but with like 90% of the deck the same, yes. They give you, it's like a loner deck, but with uh, a couple spaces. Hmm. I'll cup of ace. Right, um, thank you for that. I'm not gambling. I want to keep these two cards. Now he's got more ammo. I know. It's my own fault. Basically, I, I gave him back his investment for bad gambling. Oh, no. I need him to get the field spell on the field. Kind of now. Oh, Psycho, good luck, bro. Uh, Jin. <laughs> good luck with your gambles. Gambaroo. Does Light Barrier work with all coin flip cards or only Arcana cards? I've probably all coin flip cards, about to guess. I'm actually not too sure. I got two fours now, I'm to draw two cards. FD damage. Big draw, no whammies. Plenty hero engine, okay. Hmm. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Oh no, we are in a pickle. Big damage. He gets two fives or six. Oh, yeah, he can attack directly. That would have been bad. Okay, you've just triggered my Thunderball special ability. I roll a die and I get to get something. Uh, I guess Snipe Hunter would be nice. Cup of Ace might keep me in the duel, though. And Magic Cylinder would be helpful. I'm going to gamble on the Cup of Ace. Cup of Ace. Uh, and first, I need a six. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we tried. We weren't getting anything anyway. Big draws. No! Wait. You summon from the grave, don't you? Yes, you do. Okay, we need a three or a four. 
No. I could have used one per turn. <laughs> Jane, well done. I gambled, it didn't pay off. Where did it all go wrong? I think it was the co I think it was the the cup of ace. I think that's where things start to go pear shape. Maybe if I used my path to destiny, I could have gained two thousand life points. <laughs> ah, Jin, well played. Good game. Good game. The better gambler won. It, it went wrong when you didn't draw gores. True. So it. We have literally been gambling. We've had, we've won, we've lost, we've won, we've lost. So, law of averages states that I'm going to win this next door. That's what's going to happen. That's why we need more gores. You think I should craft two more gauzes? I forget that Orgoth can uh, direct attack. That's actually kind of sick. Holy diver. Yes, please. That's a lot of gamble in one hand. That's a ton of gamble, actually. Um, okay. First things first. Cup of Ace. You've already let me down once. Surely not twice. Show me heads. <sighs> All right. We're off to a terrible start. Um, that's 6k damage again. Yes. Yes, let's gamble. Duke Devlin deck, yeah. I'm sure I'll put a picture of Duke Devlin up on the, uh, the thumbnail on the VOD. Why nuts? Opponent has eight cards. I have two cards. Uh, I have T set on the field. My opponent is playing. Grass is greener. He's got Kelt. What? Oh my god, he's playing Tailaments? Oh no. Hi, loser kid. I, I can't give you a duel at the moment, but thank you for the challenge. Uh, I do dual days on Saturdays if you're ever free. So one of the future Saturdays, that should be an opportunity. Sorry, I can't give you a duel right now. Have the background Duke Devlin music from the Abridged series. Oh, you mean uh, Copyright Central? They get me, don't worry. No chance with... Um, I'm bringing sexy back. This guy's just playing a full, full tailment deck. If I wanted to play this, I'd, I'd play ranked. Oh, they didn't ban Kit Kalos? They banned Kaleido Heart, though, surely. But can you watch my replay? Uh, I can. It's a... If you go into the channel points, it's a channel point reward. Um... Watch my replay live, if you'd like to do that. Guaranteed, I'll watch it on stream. Didn't ban anything. Oh. Oh, I'm dead then. I'm super, super dead. I thought everybody's going to be playing like, um, okay. Sonic's still at three? But it, no, it can't be. It's at, it's at one. One Sulik. Oh, maybe they did forget to change it. It is at one now, though. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think you're right. Sulik's still at three. That's crazy. I tried playing this event, my opponent just started using Invokes and I lost all my motivation. Yeah, I think um, 
I didn't plan for real decks. <laughs> I kind of thought everybody just play like weird dice decks. Oh, it should be a bug. They, they probably made the ban list for this without thinking of the new ban list coming out, maybe. Ties guy, thank you very much for the resub. Thank you for the 12 months. Thank you for the one year. Well, about to head into work for the day. Going to keep stream up on the phone to support stream. Thank you. Sorry if my pocket types anything nonsensical. Okay. Thank you for the one year of sub. Ties guy, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Duke Devlin dungeon dice video would be great. What? Just analyzing that duel? The dungeon dice duel begins and Duke goes first. Um, I'm very, very dead. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't come prepared for this. Gauze in hand would have been helpful now. I'll lose my org off. I just got crazy boxed. <laughs> Half your life points, draw one card. Your opponent discards one card. Negate the effects of one face-up card on the field. Destroy one card on the field. Destroy this card. As if. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. Something inside it. Bro, you've won. I've got nothing. He's BMing me in a gamble dual trial for one pack. He's BMing. Come on, kill me. Do it, do it now. Please don't exceed. Don't make a bitch dweller. Ah. Oh, another crazy box. He's going to take the last card in my hand. No, surely not. He's going to roll six. We could draw a Gauze. Gauze would keep me in the stall. Oh, wait, that's good. That's good. Oh, will he plan for Gauze? That is the question. No, he did not. Oh, my God. You've triggered the special ability of my Gauze. Emissary of Darkness. Can it be negated? No, he's going to roll collapse on the field. I forgot. Gauze is so trash. It's such absolute... It's such horse manure. Ah. Garbage. <laughs> I was going to summon it in uh, its token in defense. It would have been so good. The it does get defense points, right? Yes. Wait. Is it? Do it sit? Yeah, I'm at, you're going to have 3,500 defense. Gauze, when you that first door to show you some respect. Yeah, but it's just ruined my, uh, ruined my day now. I'm still alive. Okay, here we go. Have you tried using Goatee? I've only used Goatee during the event. I thought it was fun. I'd have to learn them a lot better, though. Wait, wait. Right, so I, I didn't think I could play full tier elements. Can I just look at that deck for one second? Hmm. That's incredible. I've just realized three extra deck spaces is perfect for Kit Kalos, Roll Kalos, and Kaleido Heart. Literally the entire Tillman extra deck. Copy it. 
I probably could make that deck, actually. I, I do have, like, all that. Add Pot of Desires. I could put Desires in. Very true. What if I Desires one of my, uh, my Cyberlands, though? Can you play Sword Soul next month? Ah, Sword Soul for the win. I, I already know what I'm playing next month. It's another nostalgia beat. Old school. Probably going to ruin my day deck. Alright, I have three Dimension Dices in my hand now. Cool. Right, we'll Dimension Dice that. We'll risk everything on the Dice Jar. Your turn. Oh, Dimension Dice. Okay. I could have put... Okay. Ah, uh, yes. We're having a proper dungeon dice monsters duel. Okay. Okay, I think he has uh, a dice jar face down as well. So we're going to be really gambling on this. So here we go. I flip summon dice jar. We both roll a, doll, uh, a die. Four, five. I take 2,500 damage. That sucks. But I dimension the dice. Tribute this. Summon a Orgoth from the deck. Let's activate Orgoth's effect. For what? Six, four. That means I can draw two new cards. That's pretty pog, not going to lie. Uh, then we'll go with the Time Wizard. We uh, we don't Time Roulette because uh, I would definitely lose the duel. Instead, we Dimension the Dice again. We'll send the Time Wizard away. We'll summon another Orgoth. Why no Snipe Hunter? I guess we could have Snipe Hunted. We're going to Snipe these two and maybe one. Four. One. Five. Nice. Okay. Um, Battle. Yeah, go on then. Why not? Three. That's bad. Opponent. He's also gambling. Ooh, six. Very good. Uh, I'll attack your face down. Which is going to be dice jar. 20 quid. Ah, fairy box. Uh, no damage for the opponent. Possibly 6,000 damage for me. Let's find out. I got a four. What did my opponent get? A five. I'll risk it again. Gamble, gamble. I need a Tails. Yes. No damage, though. He saved himself 7,000 life points. Well done. Don't know what this card does. We'll find out in a second. When a monster on the field activates effect, you can make the activating player toss a coin and call it. If they call it right, send this card to the graveyard. If they call it wrong, negate that effect's activation. If you do, change the control of that monster to their opponent. Okay. 500 every turn. Fairy box is bad. No, I like fairy box. Why do people peep? Oh, I can do this. Can I do this? This. Oh, it's only monsters. Neither has protection. I'm ninety nine percent sure. Why is everyone playing Regeki? There's no gambling in it. There's no sport. Nice. Normal summon Snipe Hunter. Activates effect only once. We're going to only use it once. We're going to send the dice dungeon to the graveyard. I'm going to choose your fairy box because I'm scared by it. Nice. Then we are going to... Ooh, probably should have attacked just in case he's got a magic cylinder face down. Ah, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Gambler of Legend. Four. Three. 
five. Oh, you have to get two of the same number to get its like draw effects. Yeah, go on then. Three, bad for us. Oh, nice, no effect. Whatever this is, it didn't uh, ruin my day. I'm okay. Okay, Cyber and Dragon is our backup. So we're going to commit to the Snipe Hunter. Pray no Torrential. We're okay. We're going to activate the effect of Orgoth. Six. Nice. Five. Nice. One, not that great. Uh, battle. Activate the effect of this. Show me a six. Why not for the banter? No. Was I lose a thousand attack? I would have. Uh, uh, oh, would I have won? I think I would have won. Okay, my bad. Gambling's bad for you. In phase. Just in case you never got Rugeki, I guess. You had game if you didn't activate that effect. True. But we should gamble. <laughs> the aim of today is gamble. Cyber End Dragon, I assure you, is not dead. I promise you, I can still summon that bad boy to the field. Uh oh. Okay, he needs to not roll a six. Uh, he needs to not get two sixes or two fives. Two sixes or two fives and we lose. Four, thank God. Four, he gets to draw two cards. That still sucks. Hi, card draw because of part of extravagance. His gamble failed. Oh, wait, how much damage do I take? <sighs> okay, he needs to not get a six. It's mm, a lot of damage, but I think I live. Thank God. Orgoth's effect. One. Two. Two. Do we gamble? Oh, wait. I don't have the field spell. Whoops. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Um, end phase. We got temperance. We're okay. We are going to lose our monster, though, which is going to suck. Why did he do that? Must have been a misclick, right? Must have been a misclick, I'm pretty sure. So sometimes you just can't predict uh, opponents. Your monster can't be destroyed because you rolled double twos. I completely missed that. Good eye. Misclick of the century. Nice. Cool. I think he might have a magic cylinder face down. That's the only reason I can think of. This is unable to attack now. Let's just hope my opponent doesn't know that. He's going to have to gamble on this. Wow, he gambled very well. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> Just finish you off a magic cylinder. Maybe. Three. Three. He gets to draw two cards. Ugh. Snipe Hunter. All right, this is where fate... We believe in fate. Triple Tactics Talent. Come on, Cyber End. I believe in you. Come on, Orgoth. You're a better gambler than he is. Yes. Yes. No. Orgoth attacks me directly to attempt to go for game. We throw away our temperance. We survive. Woohoo. Sniper Hunter also goes for game. We throw away another temperance. We survive again. Top deck of the century here. Uh, I don't know what would help. Magic Cylinder. If we don't get Snipe Hunted, I guess. Oh. Oh. No more fear of Snipe Hunter. That's pretty cool. I can do with two Orgoth. Oh, he just summoned another one. Why? Why? Oh, for life points, I guess. That's fair. Let's not reveal it. Let's just end our turn. Pray he overextends and activates a face down, or else we've lost. Nope, we lost. Uh, three wins is pretty hard in this event. <laughs> I think we gambled wrong. I don't know if that went well. Try again. Sam could have won this game if he didn't win the field spell. It is true. It's true. I did throw it away. I did one gamble. Who many? What extra cards are you run? I'm running three Malefic Cyber End Dragon because it can be special summoned if either player controls a field spell. Uh, I have three regular Cyber End Dragons in my extra deck, so I can summon it. And I'm also running Pot of Extravagance. And Magic Cylinders. Magic Cylinder. And something else. I can't remember what the other card was. Gauze. Because why not? Nice. Malefic Cyber End Dragon is now alive. That door represented gambling. You played too much and you lost it all. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, I guess Fusion Destiny would be a good card in this. Mm. 60-card deck, yeah. Uh, I have no gambling cards. I can put on the field. So we're going to have to gamble with Cup of Ace. Let me down three times in a row. Classic Cup of Ace. Classic clack it. Oh. It'll die. I don't want it to die. End phase. Yeah, yeah. What card do you hate the most in Yu-Gi-Oh? Numeron Network. Runic Fountain. Flounderies and 
Um, what's the trap card in Flawanderies called? Flawanderies and the Unexpected Journey? No, Fl Flawanderies and the the Breeze, where it's called. I forget its name. Unexpected Wind. Uh, he can attempt to destroy the other one. Why not? Oh, he's going to go for it. I saved it, so I didn't have to do it then. Please say I can chain this. <sighs> Why couldn't I do that in the chain? Like, I didn't... I guess it's because it's in a chain. He knows more about Yu-Gi-Oh than me. Fair enough. Do you have Graceful and Skull Dice in the deck? I don't, no. Not a bad shout, though. I deserve this L. You'd have to activate it after DPE, probably. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Great call by. I guess I don't like um, the dimension thing as well. Fair play to the opponent. He won this fair and square. DPE in the deck is actually not a bad shout. The adventure engine, DPE, just playing tailaments instead. I guess we could do those things. Might be more consistent. We need more gamble cards in, I think. More gamble. Gate. I'll go first, please. Gambler of Legend. We could look, we could look. See how this duel goes. All right. Let's gamble. I end my turn by doing nothing. The opponent's like, what's he thinking? No monsters on the field and no back row. That means I can attack him directly. What a fool. However, what he doesn't know is I've got a little scheme planned. A scheme that involves being attacked directly. But a heart attack monster. Unless he doesn't summon anything. Oh, no. The scheme doesn't work if it... Bro, no. Uh, just summon anything. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, the scheme the the scheme failed. Never mind. Unless they bricked, yes. Um, activate dice dungeon. All right, Gauze is dead now, fun fact. I was playing a 60 card deck, damn. Set this. Activate summon dice. Thousand life points. Nobody wants to gamble, I guess. Maybe. Five. I get special summon ones from the hand. Come on out to the field. Gors, the emissary of darkness. And because I activated a face down card. 
so summons my lord of heavenly prison. I actually have enough for game, but if he's got like magic cylinder, magic cylinder, mirror force, mirror force, um, something else, then this could go very wrong. Using a 60 card deck reduces the chances of drawing loner cards. That makes sense. What a shame though. Thunderball. Multiball. Oh my god, it's the first time I've been able to uh, XC summon. Once per during the standby phase, you pay 500 life points to destroy this card. Once per chain, if you pay life points, you can send. Uh, who cares? I attempt to dimension the dice. I send my Thunderball away. Providence. Fair play. Uh, if I double the attack above my monsters, we can win still. And that my opponent doesn't have anything else. Battle. I gamble everything. On rolling a six or a four, I think. No, not a four. A two or a six. Or we can roll a five. That's okay. What about the there's a direct attack? Again, technically, you do draw one card. And if it's a monster, immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon it in face of attack position. Do I get to see it? Counter gates. You say played that card against Jack Atlas. It's your move. With my gauze and heavenly prison. What could go wrong? Put some speedroids into the deck. <laughs> My boy Gauze is back and you hated him. There's peer pressure again. Thunderball. Okay. Oh, it's destroying my heavenly spheres. No. Was that reverse trap? <laughs> no way. That's kind of cool. That's such an old card. Till the end of the turn, all effects that add or subtract attack and defense are reversed. Additions now subtract and subtractions now add instead. Multiplications and divisions, including halving and doubling, are not affected. Oh, that's a shame. Snap Hunter. Once we get on the field. <laughs> Head judging. Luckily, I'm not going to use any effects. I thought. Uh, I don't think this works on. It's just monsters, isn't it? Yeah, just monsters. Are you excited for Dark Moon remake? I'm replying three. I'm replaying three, trying to 100% it. Um, I 100%ed three. I actually played it on stream for a little bit as well. 
It was a fun game. I've never played um, Luigi's Mansion 2, so yes, I will scoop it up. Whoa. I'm waiting for the physical release of Pikmin 1 and 2 in September, because I've never played Pikmin 2 either. So I've played Pikmin 1, Pikmin 3, and I'm going to play Pikmin 4. I've played Luigi's Mansion 1 and Luigi's Mansion 3, but not 2. If it came out on, like, um, the 2DS, the 3DS, or the Wii U, I never played them. Apart from Zelda and Majora's Mask on 3DS. I borrowed a 3DS for that. Paths of Destiny. Nice. Transmigration Break. All right. We've lost attack. Great. Okay. Um, this actually has turned into a Magical Hats gambling situation. This is kind of cool. One of these cards will tank my attack. And I... And one of them, uh, two of them won't. Snipe Hunter, go. <sighs> you love the cavern system of the despise it. Ooh. Uh, Etherius55, thank you for the two months. Let's keep the streak going for years to come. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for the two months. I really appreciate it. What an absolute legend. Thank you for helping keep the lights on here. Why is there a Gauze? What year is this? What do you mean? I always play Gauze. It's my signature monster. Chat's always like, take Gauze out, take Gauze out. It's an old card. It's no good. If you have any cards in your field, you can't special summon it. And I'm always like, chat, I need to play it. It's such a good card. Oh, everyone's denying it now. Everyone's going to say it's the other way, aren't they? Classic. I'm being gaslit by uh, by chat. Trying to tell me uh, how things really went down. Well, I won't stand for it, alright? I know my origin. I have a ghost rare gauze emissary of darkness in my folder. That's how you know how much I love gauze. It's the only ghost rare I have. In fact, it won me the first gamble duel we had, and look at it now, standing up against all these gamble monsters. <sighs> He's my absolute boy. And what's my favorite color? I it's blue. What color is his clothes? Blue. Very nice. And don't I and look, red, blue, red and blue. That's why I always have that color in the background. I have a limited edition Yu-Gi-Oh! art manga gauze. That's pretty sick. That looks pink. The background is it, purple. You are right. Uh, there you go. Let's gamble. Close, though. Four for the opponents. That's bad for us. Three for us. That's really bad for us. That's fine. We just take a bit of damage on that. Sam, don't risk it. I've got one more Gamburu to try. Add card of fate. Right side up. I play Fairy Box, the trap card that Joey used against Mako Tsunami. And the only reason Mako Tsunami managed to get rid of it was because he cheesed it with uh, Umi Field Spell, Legendary Ocean. And the uh, the monster inside couldn't breathe. Um, okay. Imperm. On the gauze. It's cool with me. I vote heads. No. My gambling skills have fell. Tails never fails. That's true. We should commit to either heads or tails for like forever in, in, in perpetuity now. I think I prefer ta tails as well. Tails never fails. We'll, we'll always go tails on every coin flip. Master King Archfiend. Once per chain of fiend monster sent to your graveyard. It's your hand. Hmm. 
All your rolls were bad. True. Bum, 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 bum. Sartorius deck is definitely a gambling deck. A million percent. Um. When a monster on the field activates its effect. Okay. So I can do it from over here. Uh, yeah, go on. I'll pay some life points. Why not? I'll activate this effect in my hand. Banish the Cyber End Dragon from my extra deck. Come on out. Malefic Cyber End Dragon. Enter my battle phase. Activate the effect of Dice Dungeon. God forbid I get half attack. Nice. Hefty damage. Pray he doesn't read and just scoops because this monster is not actually allowed to attack. Give it one second before I do. No scoop, okay. Poor Mako Tsunami. First his dad died, and then he had to give Joey his best card. That was a, like a memoriam to him, wasn't he? It's like, this is my legendary fisherman. He always reminds me of my dad. That's so messed up, actually. To be fair, Joey did treasure all the cards he got. Even Weevil's ace monster, which is kind of weird. Thematically, it would have been better when Joey took Weevil's um, Insect Queen. He just, like, throws it into the sea or, like, a fountain that's nearby. It's just like, all right, we're even. I don't want your card. It's crap in my deck anyway. No need to gamble. Probably could have put that in defense. In fact, you know what? I definitely should have put that in defense just in case it's got a mirror magic cylinder. Well done. Okay, so this is where I come into a small little problem. Um, you see, my monster... Yeah, <laughs> I kind of hope no one would notice that. Whoops. <laughs> we still won. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. In front of the game. There you go. Look, we're fine. Reckless Greed. To be fair, he could draw... Okay. I just remember not to activate Snipe Hunter's effect. No. I'm done with you. Probably should have kept it on the field, just in case. He hasn't got the negate damage card in his hand. No way. Nice. Did I have the field spell this time? I didn't. And with three wins, I do believe... Woohoo! Climax of the showdown. A three pack. What will I get? I can't wait to see what ultra I get out of this. I mean, every other time I've got nothing, so... Light of the Branded. Spriggan's Pedor, Armor Dragon Ritual, Tri Brigade Caress, Branded Sword, Abyss Curtain Call, Branded Beast, Arm Dragon Level 3. I spent 1 hour and 45 minutes to get that. Cause for the win. Well, that was worth my time. Uh, that was the deck anyway. 
Didn't draw uh, magic cylinders. Not even once. Not even once. What have we done? One, two, three. No, I had a win here. Win, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, 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 win. Do one more. Hashtag worth it. Toon Gores tomorrow. That's what we'll push for. Toon Gores. Gores Emissary of Toons. First. Gores deserves to be in the thumbnail when you upload this to the VODs channel. I can't put Duke Devil in and Gores in. Surely not. Oh god, he's in the hand again. No! What are you doing? Oh, magic cylinders though. Hey, I drew it! Literally. Very revolver-esque. Come on, base. Fun fact, I have played today Cup of Ace four times. Guess how many times I've got heads. I have got no head, chat. I have not received any heads today. Oh, no! Oh, okay, no worries. Uh, it's fine. We just have to use these and then Gauze is live. Nice, I've given my, hand, my opponent a huge hand. Why did you say it like that? Like what? I said it normal. Whatever you're thinking, that's that's your problem, man. Hot. This dude had enough. Okay. Uh, Snipe hunter would suck. Uh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to steal it. Attempt to anyway. Can you just cancel a sub midway for a month? Um, probably. Oh, probably not, actually. Of course, we set cards rough. Yeah. I can get rid of them, though. Okay, toggle on. So, org off to the field. That's his summon done, to be fair. Ah. Yeah. I mean, I could win with magic cylinders. If he doesn't have any back row removal, I could gamble on that. To be fair, I might as well... I'll gamble on both. I'll gamble on both. Why not? Oh, no, because it's a conjoint. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! I get go or goff. Is that how that works? Wait, no. What's this effect? When a monster on the field activates effect, you can make the activating player toss a coin and call it. If they call it right, send this card to the graveyard. If they call it wrong... Oh, they got it right. They got it right. Oh. Oh. That's not fair. Bestials, okay. Kind of cool. And a summon dice. We'll go off number two. Yeah, opponent gets heads. Classic case. Are there people in this picture? Can you see Duke or Yugi? No, you can't. Actually, plainly belly on fair. I'm saying bestial wrong. Bestial. Is it like that? Like bistro? Bestial. I summon my bestial 
Saranir. To be fair, I was writing it as bestial in like the first video I put in. Bro, has got everything. Buy steel? No, surely not. Bist eel. Yeah, bist eel. Bist eel, bist eel. I'll try. Part of learning decks is uh, learning how to uh, to say them, I guess. Okay, come on. Don't let him get draws off my cup of ace and then not me. Woohoo! He paid me back. That's nice to know. Like from the abyss. Ah. Ah. Battle phase. Okay. Um, do you double your attack first? Nice dungeon. Okay. I activate magic cylinders. Uh, I It doesn't work. Like, I won't be able to stop this attack. But if he attacks with the other two, I can. No damage. Okay, my opponent's about to take 7,000 damage. Check this out. That's a steep price to play, play bro. Fair play. Woof. Woof. And now, I let you deal damage. Because I can special summon with no cards on my side of the field. Gauze! Emissary of Darkness. My very soul. My ultimate boss monster. Which has a token now with 3,500 attack permanently. With only 2,500 attack, your beast, Bestial Druis Worm, looks like a perfect target for my token. Oh. Or oh, you can do that. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lubelion. Of course. Of course, of course. Forgot about that. No one expects the gores. Yeah, yeah. Well done. What year is this? Oh. Okay. We're gonna have to go with the Malefic Cyber End play because at least then it's kind of higher. Coming out my actual very soul, Cyber End Dragon. Spanish Inquisitor. Mm. Can he boost his attack again? I guess he can. Battle? Oh, nobody expect. Ah, oh, I see. I see. I see. I understand the reference now. Gore's jump scare. Now, he will only lose 500 life points if he doesn't try to gamble. He didn't try to gamble. Okay. Um, now, and I think he doesn't have any dispels or traps, so I'm gonna go with this. Point defense. End phase. Right, we have a uh, one hand trap monster, uh, Arcana Force XIV, Car the Karibo. And we also have another Cyber End Dragon that we can summon out if we need to. Uh, 4K monster, so my opponent needs to get really lucky on his, um, his stuff. I feel confident. Only one Malefic on the field at a time, and only that Malefic monster can attack. Um, 
Honestly, the Malefic archetype, they were given way too many restrictions. They kind of suck. Oh, well done the six. Well done the five. Hmm. Hefty damage. Not enough to get over my lovely Cyber End Dragon here, though. XIV is 14, Sam. Oh, but I like seeing the, the, the Roman numerals. Arcana Force 14. Temperance. X is 10, IV is 4, so it's 14. 10, 14. And then if it's X, V, I, it's 6, right? So that'd be... Arcana Force 4, X, V, I is Arcana Force 6. Is that correct? Yeah. 16. Arcana Force I is 1. Arcana Force I, I is 2. I, I, I is 3. V, I is 4. V is 5. V, I is 6. V, I, I is 7. V, I, I, I is 8. Um... What's nine? I X. So would it be X I X for Arcana Force nineteen? I X. Okay. And then Arcana Force twenty would be X X. Roman numerals are scary. <laughs> That's not too bad though. X I X is nineteen. Okay. Yeah, we're learning. We're learning. No, blah, 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 blah. We're learning Roman numerals as we play. Uh, my opponent's been gambling this entire time. I haven't realized he's been losing everything. How many of those did he do? Oh no, he got one. Oh my god, he's missed loads. Oh my god, he did walk off. Summon, activate, discard Ash Blossom, target Cyber and Dragon, whiffs. Snipe effect, discard another Ash Blossom, targets Malefic, whiffs. Sniper Hunter, discard Orgoth, targets Malefic, succeeds. Targets Gores, whiffs. Targets Gores again, whiffs again. <laughs> that poor guy. He had four whiffs. Um, I'll take the damage. I might have lost though. Is that his last attack? I haven't been keeping track. It's my move, and I draw. My opponent's field is stronger than mine, and his field spell. I have only one chance. Gamble all on this final play. I summon my Malefic Cyber End Dragon. I enter the battle phase. You have to gamble, opponent. If you don't, you've got guaranteed loss. If he doubles his attack, I still win. Oh, still one, thank God. Go, Cyber End! Okay, yeah, there was a chance I could have lost there. If he'd have halved my attack, doubled his own. We take it, though. Thank you, Temperance. Thank you, Gores. Thank you, Malefic Cyber End. My sweet boys. What was that squeak? I don't know what you mean. Two wins, three wins, four wins. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. Oh, the Magic Cylinder 7K did do a lot of... Uh, yeah, that did do a lot as well. That helped a lot. Yes. Three wins due to Gores. Deserves to be uh, the month's deck. Purple Drapes. How do I report for gambling? Doesn't deserve we'll see how I feel. Oh. My diet is so bad. I got, I got the acid. Oh. Tam wizard. 
Uh oh. If you control a card with an effect that requires a die roll. It's it's a coin flip, not a die roll. Oh no. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, I'm throwing. I'm sorry. Seeker run. Rika won EU uh, World Championship qualifier today. I didn't know that. No way. I saw um, Machina got into like top 16 or something, which is kind of cool. It was nice to see. Please, can I have uh, two cards? Please, 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 please. What deck were you playing when you had that unlonely, unholy manly shriek? I don't remember. There's a clip of me playing Dark Souls where I make a noise similar to that. Um, but other than that, I don't know. Yeah, go on then. See if I can gain 2,000 or anything. Minus 2,000 for me. Plus 2,000 for the opponent. Good for him. Good for him. Oh, wait. This is the way around. Good for me. Good for me. Not bad. <laughs> Time Wizard, I'm so sorry I summoned you to the field. For some reason, I thought you had something to do with dice in your effect. I was so wrong. Everything got handed the win versus Dragon Link. They did. Machina or Earth Machine. It was... He called it um, Machina Infinitrack Trains. He called it his MIT deck or something. So, yeah. It was like 60% Machina, one or two Infinitrack, and some trains in the extra deck. Okay. Ooh, dice jar. Um... Should we gamble? We'll gamble. We'll gamble. Why not? We'll gamble the Snipe Hunter. I'll gamble on the Dice Jar next turn. Why not? Nice. Don't mention the dice. Uh, oh, you know, I've just realized we need, we need an unholy roll. Uh, we need two sixes at the very least. We need a minimum of 12 out of a possible 18. So this is going to go really bad or really well. Gamble time. Four. Good. Two. Very bad. Six. Amazing. Oh, we did it. Woohoo. Gambling's great. Its attack goes down next turn. That's true. I guess you can just special summon it back and then um, send my monster to the grave. No, that's from the hand. Psh, time wizard. Psh, what am I scared of? <laughs> okay. This is perfect for gambling addicts. Just one more match. Just one more go. I'll set one card face down, two cards face down, and end my turn. Uh, fun fact, if we, if my opponent gets a six, if I get a six and my opponent gets nothing, then we'll do 6,000 damage and instantly win the, win the game. If it's the other way around, I instantly lose the game. Or he can just send my monster to the graveyard. Oh no, I was meant to chain this! Okay, I, I whiffed. Sorry. My bad. Come on. Come on, Tails. Tails! Yes. Haha, I took damage. You've attacked my dice jar. Now we both roll a die. Four, that's a good roll, but not as good as my... Shh. ideal. I was going to destroy his back row as well. It's not fair. That's why I set this. I was like, when he sets a card face down to bring back this, I'll just pop it. 
That's fine with me. Absolutely fine. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. I <laughs> have exactly 2,500 life points left. That's not good. Right, let's toggle on just in case. No! Why that one? Oh. Oh. We've lost. This game. Don't gamble. It's not worth it. Oh no, I did it again. I mean, I'm losing either way, but I keep missing it. <sighs> Dice Foon, go. Raven to play uh, Eldritch with Beasteals running fate. I guess it's in this event. Even though we did just play someone with Beasteals. Kind of makes sense. Okay. Uh, turns out gambling is... Uh, is not great. Last one. Last gamble deck. Last gamble play. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going second. What's this? Hey, uh, Sam. Well, TJ Anime, if you want me to call you that, I want to see if you like my hard work. I've been a fan for a very long time and I deleted my YouTube channel in the past, but now I've got my new YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoy. Please don't get it. So I hope you enjoy it or anyone you want to enjoy it, but please don't get upset. I hope you understand. I just love your work. What? Is he like like copy and paste my videos or something? What what, is, what, what does that mean? Why would it be upset? <laughs> I'm curious. Open link in new tab. Videos. Is it because he made a video called What If I Took Cyberdark Dragons? Okay. Okay, it's fine. There's it nothing. Not the best opening hand. Uh, it's not too bad. If you get lucky with summon dice, it's quite a decent hand, actually. Playing Beast Deals again? Sam, what do you think of Cacheteria? Uh, is it worse than Runic Rune Rune Fun fact, I have never experienced Cacheteria in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I've only heard about them through word of mouth. It's exactly the same thing as, like, Tealaments. Um, I'd never seen or watched someone play Tealaments. Uh, I'd only seen clips and people tell me they're really bad and stuff. So Cacheteria is exactly the same. All I know is there's a boss monster in it. That can like, uh, it's like a floodgate. You, it banishes all your monster gets sent to the graveyard, which sounds like it sucks. Uh, I know they've got a very rare chance of completely shutting down every single one of your zones, which also really, really sucks, which I, I wouldn't like to happen. So um, I don't know. I'll I'll learn when it comes out. Oh, Mind Hacker. Mind Hacker yoinks your cards, right? We don't like that. You don't play the TCG? No, I don't play IRL anymore. Um, I haven't played since 2012. It's been, uh, it's been 80 years. Oh, they can't zone lock without mind hacker. Okay, that's good then. That doesn't sound like any fun at all. Did I whiff my roll? Is that what happened? It's 
It's the boss monster that doesn't let you play the game. Three, that's a bad result for me. Oh, no, no, it's wrong. Wrong rolls, wrong rolls. Battle? Technically, I can kill both these monsters, so let's not double gamble. Let's just be happy with what we have. A searcher just got banned. Nice Charizard Light? I thought it was at Earth. <laughs> I got my dice jar back. There you go. Get that org off out of here. Over a hundred damage? Really? Or has he got something else that I don't know about? He just wants another light in the grave, maybe? Maybe that's... Okay. Uh, you can keep your Thunder... Oh, no, no! What have I done? Wait, doesn't Thunderball have some insane ability again? Okay, he just needs to have not have a trap in his hand. That's all we need to rely on. He's not going to draw into a trap. No way, no way. Let's make six DD Crows on steroids. It's true. No! Maybe it's a spell. Maybe it's a bluff. Oh, no. Why didn't I just attack Thunderball? It's, it's got 450 attack. Oh, can I just draw one card? Oh, zones it's in. Okay. That's fine. I can live with that. Okay. Boosts Orgoth, attacks with Orgoth, fails the coin flip, takes 3,000 damage. Tries to attack with this, maybe? Mm, I don't know, actually. Two draws? Saranir. I'm going to try and get lucky on my uh, my field spell. Bro, this guy's got everything. I play. <laughs> Everyone relies on that field spell and fairy box. Yes. Oh, okay. Snipe hunter, nothing in hand. That's fine. I'm sorry. What is that? Monsters you control gain 100 attack defense for each card in your opponent's graveyard. Cook effect, you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard. Detach one or two materials from this card, then activate the appropriate effect. Return it to the deck. If the target a monster is special, summon your face down. Okay, that's fine. That won't trigger his bestial, thank God. Since it was sent to the grave through... A cost game mechanic thing, I think. I hope. Cool. Two twos. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's uh, let's gamble with the uh, the field spell. My opponent got a five, which is good, and we got a one, which is bad. But. We were almost the strongest monster. <sighs> Here we go. Fairy box. Tails never fails. Nice. Woohoo! We're alive! Oh, 
Thunderball. I'll pay the costs. Um... I'll just attack. I think Snipe Hunter was my big, biggest threat over there. Uh, I'll go on. I'll sit in phase down. In phase. Red Devil Mills. <laughs> Say if it failed all three fairy boxes, four, eight, twelve. That's another twelve hundred damage. Put them down to three K. Could be nice. I don't own any OCG cards, no. Only TCG. I used to have some fake cards I got from a car boot sale, if that counts. All right. Let's do Dice Dungeon first, just in case. My opponent gets a two. That's bad for us. And we got a two. That's good for us. Okay, he's going for it. Fairy box. Tails never fails. No. Okay, now Fairy Box needs to come in clutch. Tails again. No. But. But, but, but. The effect of Thunderball. Try and take the Heavenly Prison back, I guess. Never mind. Alright. Really need to save myself 3,900 life points here. Tails again. Oh my god. And, oh, why did they make gambling so hard? Snipe Hunter, nice. Mm. Oh no. Uh we've lost. 50-50 my ass. That coin is rigged, I tell you. Going for my snipe hunter. There. You can go for this next turn. Do we go gamble? One minute you're on top. The next. It's all downhill. Your turn. James change my mate to Moki Moki. Neos, we can do that definitely. You are dead. It's true. It's true. He can pop fairy box. He can. Uh, maybe he wants to gamble though. Blue belly on. Two, five, six. Big boost. Uh, even if I halved his attack, we wouldn't be surviving. But we might as well gamble. Because why not? Three. 
Time to die. Look based stuff annoys you. <laughs> That's why you pr that's why you shouldn't play luck based cards in decks. That's why Joey is like an anomaly. He did really well. Some stuff though. Traps, summons, spells, specials, wins. Nice. I'm ready for season 19 now. Very ready. And for new mates, uh Neos for tomorrow's stream. First stream of Season 19. Technically, this was, but uh, we're playing with a Moki Moki mate. It's nice to know. Moki Moki. Very cool. Right. Uh, I think that's enough of gambling today. Uh, as you can clearly see, this has uh, all been a lesson on why you shouldn't gamble. Because overall, despite having some wins, getting that dopamine, you can see on average... I lost more than I won. So this was actually a public service announcement to everyone to gamble responsibly. I could have won every single one of the duels, but I chose not to. Just to make a point, as you can clearly see. <laughs> so that's why I uh, misplayed and threw some duels. Of course, of course, of course. Right, uh, thank you for watching the stream, guys. That was a short one on the duel trial. I thought it was fun. I didn't mind the dual trial. I thought it was okay. Like, an interesting concept of forcing players to play some specific cards in their decks. I thought it was kind of interesting. I'd see this again. Um, sure, why not? All right. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to play with a Toon deck. Let's see how that does for a whole season. But uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy your day. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, if anyone's available. Bye, everyone. Stay fresh.